What's up guys, welcome back to the second channel. Here today we are going to be covering Matisse Stiebel's vlog number 6. Now really quick before we get into this, two things. One, obviously I do not own anything shown in this video. This is all for reaction purposes and stuff like that. Uh, but also again, I am sorry for not being as like active on this channel. Um, uploads and stuff like that. Um, ever since like the scrimmages started getting blocked and stuff like that, like I haven't really had a lot to cover um, on here. So I'm trying to think of like other ideas and stuff that you guys would want to see. Um, I'm going to be covering this, and then I have something else that I'm going to be watching today. Um, and then, yeah, like we'll see how you guys like those. Um, if you guys want to see anything on this channel, like I said, let me know down below. I'm going to be probably taking clips from my streams and putting them on this channel and stuff like that. I think that'll be kind of like, well, like a little bit more fun for you guys to um, you know, watch back some of the games that we do play on stream and stuff like that. So I'm going to be mixing it up a little bit here. But like I said, that's just kind of why I haven't been uploading as I haven't really known what to do. And also I've been like super busy, so I haven't really had time to record reactions and stuff like that. Um, if I'm not like streaming or playing and recording for my main channel, I haven't really been home. So I apologize about that. But enough yapping. Let's get into it. Again, the link to this original video will be in the description down below. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go get some breakfast. Can I turn these sizes? Two, please. Uh, I mean, at least the food looks a little bit better than what it did the first time we seen everything. That's perfect. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. This man's eating on a chair. This is much better. What a kind man. Yeah, I was pretty happy. <laughs> Let's see what these are. Oh, whoa. These are really cool, actually. Thank you, Sixers. I'm a huge fan of these. It's actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's always good that when you see like the team actually supporting their players, you know what I mean? Let's go over defense. Here we are. And these are the ones. Great pickup point, little physicality, getting over, center left. And then we talked about the position, this left foot, a little more forward, open it up so you can see ball and man. Did you steal food from another team? Uh oh. Yeah, I play for Memphis and Orlando today. You too? We will all work for the NBA. I don't know, but your place looking a lot better than mine. Oh. Go for it. Tough scene. <laughs> Can I make a little tea? So me and a couple other guys got nominated for this cornhole tournament. I haven't even finished my dinner, but I have three minutes until I gotta be there. Bro, fun fact actually, if you guys wanna know, I've actually won cornhole championships before. Like I'm not gonna lie, like tournaments. Like I've actually won like a belt. It was so stupid. It literally it was like cornhole champ of like 2017. And I actually won, so it was pretty cool. But yeah, like I'm pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome. Did you have to move the couches? One, two. <clears throat> you wanna play? I'm lost, bro. So this is ours? This is not regulation right here. That's it's way further than it's supposed to be. This is my first time, but you know me, like, it don't take me long. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh! I mean, it was on the money, it just kind Bro. Hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be the one to say it, I'm just, you know. <clears throat> That's not how you play cornhole. I've never heard of that rule before. That if you go over, like this isn't like this. Like what? Like I know that there's like a basketball version. Like if you guys have ever played like tips, like a lot of people call it different things, like twenty one tips, whatever you call it. And you guys should know what I'm talking about if you you know have played the game before. But like if you you know if you get to twenty one, you're supposed to shoot a three. If you miss, you go back down to fifteen. But I've never heard that rule for cornhole before. Like that's kind of stupid. Oh, elevator doesn't count. <laughs> I said the elevator doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> okay, Al. Well done. <laughs> Miss short one more time. <laughs> hey, there we go. Let's go. 
Coach. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hi, I was wondering if I could make an appointment to get a haircut. Do you have a preference of uh, barbers? Can I see Joel? All right, you're all set for three o'clock with Joel. I haven't had a real haircut since I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> Can you believe they just built a bar? Dude, that is cool as hell. It literally looks like the I'm park. Out here. That's actually That's really cool. Crazy. Oh, what's up, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, bro. Thanks, bro. You can't even tell me that that's not dope as hell. Like, literally, how they have their own building like that. You good, bro? What's up, boy? Yo, Russ, tell me the story, please. You want to tell me the real story? Tell me the story. About what really happened? Yes. No, I don't think he wants that on this thing. I'll just say this. Tell me how you owe me dinners. He said dinners. If if he would have listened to me, he'd be allowed to pay for a whole lot of dinners for the both of us. Right. Instead, instead he wanted to be hard-headed and do his own thing and not listen. And now we are minus. <laughs> <laughs> we playing a roulette. You can come over to the table. He said, "How you play this game? What's your jersey number?" So he's like, zero. You know, put whatever you want on zero. And if it hits, you get, and the man's like, uh, next roll. So he's like, he's with the chiller. <laughs> wait, you think I should do it? You think I should do it? <laughs> Last roll. Bam! Zero. He said it, put it, go. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he was toying with maybe, it. Too. Maybe not. I'm going to wait. Zero. Bam! <laughs> Yo, runs all the way down the whole time. Nah, I'm not playing. I was so. How to play cornhole when they was down by fourteen? It was eighteen to four on YouTube. Told us how to play cornhole. I was getting so mad though. Listen, loose. Hold on. What do you mean we? You're not playing. I'm y'all cool. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, cool. Let's get to it. Oh wow, that was your best shot yet. Hey, you ain't lying. <laughs> Uh -oh. There goes. Yep, there goes. I'm back to yourself. Yo, what we got, Howell? My boy Kiyo and Tees. We're not doing. We're not. We're not talking to the opponent right now. Relate. I'm trying game. to connect right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think I, this is actually like the coolest part about this whole bubble thing is that like. All these different teams, like you guys obviously see, like Westbrook's obviously not on the Sixers, so it's like to see him kind of hanging out. I know it's not like, yo, like this person's hanging out with this person, like, oh my god, Westbrook to the Sixers, like, it's not like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's literally just like everybody hanging out, laughing, having some fun, you know, and you kind of hear about how they hang out in different, you know, situations, like, you know, Tobias Harris and Westbrook going to a casino together or whatever, which, by the way, like, I know they tried to beep it out, but you can, if you, if you're good at, like, reading what people are saying, like, you know, you could kind of tell. That was a pretty good amount of money, too. That's all I'm going to say. We're not talking to them right now. We can talk after. Thank Get you. some shots up, man. Thank you. Damn. <laughs> I have no friends in the NBA. <laughs> he said I have no NBA friends. <laughs> yes, you don't. Yo, you, yo, you doing too much talking. Get focus. You got this. Matisse. I didn't get a single yeah. practice <laughs> throw. Right. Come on, KO. Hey. There we go. Oh. Yo, what? Hey, Thank OK. Oh, there we go. Look at looking at me lying. right now. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You are sorry right now. The vlog does not want to see this. Well, good thing I edited it. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, girl! Oh. oh my gosh. Yo, you're on GOAT status right now. I'm not even going to lie. KO back is hurting. He's <laughs> carrying us. I'm not even going to lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. You guys are my opinions on Westbrook as like a player, but as a person, he's kind of funny. Like I've always thought that because like some of the reports and stuff. But I don't know. He's actually kind of funny. Yes, yes. Wow. There we go. Getting girl. There we go. Okay. I'm liking it. I think that our team support wasn't up to par. You know, we got off to a slow start. I think some of the younger guys got <laughs> a post game interview for a, cor for a cornhole tournament. More serious. No. Yeah, 
I'm still laughing about what Westbrook said. With the uh, anthem, you know, first we should just start up by saying open dialogue conversation of if anybody is uncomfortable with taking a knee, can express their feelings on it, and we can just open up that to kind of get a gauge on how guys are feeling. Where I come from, from Turkey, you know, my flag comes first and then national anthem comes second, you know. In Turkish national anthem, I stay like this, you know, like just in this position like a soldier and then you, you cannot move, you know, that's disrespectful kind of. Okay, I'm from Turkey, but I live here and then I earn my money here. That's why I have the same, same respect to American flag. But I know this is about human rights. What happens is like unacceptable and I will be with you guys to a percentage like there's no question you know I will also make more impact as a white guy to be standing with you guys down there I want to be also part of that I'm coming from a different country 85 million population people are gonna watch just the thing I was about like kneeling I just didn't feel comfortable to disrespect the flag or like government or whatever and Tobias told me this is not about disrespecting to the flag this is about reaction to the, what happens that's the part which I agree. That's why if we kneel all together, I will definitely win. I'm not from here, but I'm aware about everything that is happening. So if somebody come to me and ask why you're kneeling, I'm not gonna say just because I'm supporting my teammates. I'm gonna say because there's a social justice going on in this country that we're trying to like bring awareness, you know, because they're gonna ask. They're gonna ask first, you're not even from here. Like they're gonna have people in Brazil asking me why you're kneeling, you're not from there. Having the message to tell the the media, I think that's important. The media will ask, and they will try to always go at weak links who they feel may not know what they're talking about. So what you're touching on is what's our why and like what's our message. We're using our platform to bring awareness. We have these opportunities to sit down. As Really quick, I just want to say, like, if you guys just saw me, like, on my phone, obviously, um, it's nothing that, like, I'm not, like, paying attention. I'm still listening. Some stuff with my family. Just got to clear that up because I know somebody's going to probably say something. So just that, just clearing that up. I'm still paying attention. Don't worry. As a team, coaches, everybody in the organization to really hash out some stuff and educate each other on different elements of, you know, African-American culture all the way down the line to systemic racism. We got the perfect place to do this right here. If everybody's willing to do it, I think when we talk about educate ourselves, educate each other, this is what we're talking about. And yo, we came out to Orlando to gain the championship, but we also came out here at the same time to learn about my brother because the way I grew up is different from the way Norvell grew up, right? The way I grew up is different from how you grew up. So we should always be trying to push each other to realize and put ourselves in someone else's shoes, especially when we have the people around to do it. You know, I think that that's, that's right on the money, I think, for everyone. But just getting a different perspective, I always like learning from definitely people that are older than me and that have had real life experiences and things like that because I think that they put more to perspective. Tobias and I have talked a lot and I, you know, I, I told some of my stories, um, like things that, that have happened to me. And I want y'all to do whatever you got to do to get the message across. And I, I'll say this and I'll shut up. The iron is hot. You have to strike now and don't let it go because you have an opportunity to make a change that you, you might not ever get again. So take it, run with it. It's a badge of honor, the change that you can make now. And voting in this election is more important than any other election in your lifetime. One of the things that we talked about in the meeting was reinforcing about voting. Yeah. and encouraging people to get out and vote and do these things. So um, that, that's another point of emphasis. We got to have, like, educate ourselves and we have to have a schedule. You know what I mean? Like, this is one week we're going to dedicate to voting. This is another week we're we'll dedicate to black-owned businesses. That would be how we can approach this and really make it truly impactful, not just to the outside, but to all of us. Sure. You know what I mean? Every week we just do a little something and just hit a little point just to educate ourselves, because quite frankly, some of us don't even know the importance of voting when you never really had to vote and be an adult before. Somebody chime in. Um, I agree with the educating yourself part. I think we should push some type of action 
like Kale was talking about the, the black dollar, we have the power. So I think along with us educating people and putting that message out there, we gotta also, I guess, give people another outlet to actually doing stuff. I feel like if guys feel passionately about something, I know I wanna know more about your organization, what you're doing. And I think that it would be cool for us to just come together and give each other the opportunity to tell, tell that story and then that idea that you just had to be able to take action on that and, and give to those things. How about many points we score in a win, times it by like 76, and we donate those funds to somebody's organization or something they're passionate about. We can actually do that. I you know, um, yeah, I know I can't dress, but a lot of black people got their own clothing line. I've been telling them to send me stuff to the bubble. So like, you know, during game day, I'm wearing their t-shirts, wearing their sweatpants. Yeah. And when they take that picture, I'm gonna tag it and, sure. you know, make sure that they just getting their brand out there. We, as a team, can say, yo, this week we highlight if we talk about the black dollar, we highlight this many black-owned businesses in, like, maybe it may be your city. What we say, oh, we'll do them in Philadelphia. That's what we're going to do. We can keep, continue to have these type of talks and dialogue to really help each other. That's all I got. <clears throat> like I said last time, really like the way that they're using this platform and like Thibault's videos because like I said like they are doing very well like his videos are all getting like a million views each so I'm really liking the way that they're going at it and really liking the way that they're using this like I said to kind of promote their message and what they're doing like I said so this is gonna be like a weird cut right there I don't know why my mic has been having a lot of problems recently and it literally just disconnected mid uh mid sentence so unfortunately that's what happened there so sorry uh I don't know why it did that um I hope it's working now but either way Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below some other ideas. Subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah, peace.